so let's talk a little bit about uh, fire pits here. There are a lot of videos on YouTube about smokeless fire pits. And there, there are some really good ideas out there, but I think some of them, most of them, frankly, are really lacking some key features uh, to help make this thing really smokeless. One, if you look at the Brio and the Solo type pits, there's two features they integrate. One is they, they're truly double walled. Now, most people that I see on YouTube where this metal ring ends, they leave it wide open down here so that air can come up through here. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. If uh, you know, I, I'm not an engineer and I think the guys from the professional pits are. So I went with truly making a double wall. One, when I put all this in, I sealed the inside of the retaining wall blocks with refractory mortar. So there's no air coming, should be no air coming through those bricks or through the concrete pavers, I should say, the retaining wall pavers. Two, if you look in the holes here, you can see that there is in fact a gap. There's roughly one, about a one and a half inch gap or so uh, between the metal ring and the wall. This is fire brick. This is sealed off with refractory cement right here. So the air, when it comes through these inlets here, and there's four of them on this one, uh, it actually does come through, form a double wall, and pulls through, gets superheated and pulls up. And I showed you that, uh, well, whatever, I'll show you that on a video. I've got a little bit of a video of a fire we did last night. And you can actually see the smoke curling up and getting burnt off. Uh, I, it works better than I thought it would. It really does. It works great. Two, they put a central vent in the middle to pull fresh air in. So, that's what I did. That's four inch dryer duct, aluminum, so one rust. It's encased in concrete, so it doesn't get crushed. That comes out of my retaining wall right here. And I have a little cap on it just to keep critters out. But what that does is that pulls air, fresh air in the middle. So that helps draw the smoke upward too. Find that it does a great job, uh, better than I thought it would. It pulls the smoke upward and uh, it helps make a really nice hot bed of coals. I just Because you can see that just the, the uh, air feeding that fire. I made a cross piece, which is what they do. Theirs is a lot prettier than mine, but I have a cross piece with holes drilled. That's pulling air all the way across the bottom and it works beautifully. I'll have, when I put this in, I have, an, I have an entire base full of bed of coals and they get very, very hot. I'm glad I put fire brick in the bottom of this. Use a piece of cardboard to make a template and then actually cut out the bricks to match because with the fire bricks, it took me less than 10 minutes to clean up after we had a fire from last night. I literally just take it, sweep it out and I'm done. I mean, it's super, super simple. Uh, if and, and, and fire brick is going to take whatever heat I can throw at it. Now, unlike if you use gravel, gravel you can have issues with water inside the gravel literally exploding. You can use sand, which is what I have under the fire bricks in between them, and sand will work fine. But it's kind of a pain to clean up, and every now and then you're going to have to add more to it. So I think the fire brick ran me about $130 or so, and to me I really feel it's like worth every dime. This little pipe right here which I've covered in another video, that I could take the end off of this and run a natural gas pipe. I'll get the thing off there. There we go. I can run, I have a, we have a two foot portable fire pit and I can set that in here if I don't want to burn with wood, run a gas line out underneath the cover, I have a gas line with a quick disconnect and a valve. So. If I just don't have time or I got a little half hour or something and I don't want to deal with wood, I can just put our portable two foot pit in here, hook it up to natural gas and use it that way as well. Uh, I've not seen anybody else do that. And I just think it was a great idea. I was building this patio anyway. And so while I'm doing it, I might as well go ahead and run the natural gas line under it and tie it in. Uh, I also tied that into my generator shed, which was convenient. That way the inlet for my natural gas lead on my for my generators inside the generator shed 
So anyway, uh, some of these are features, like I said, I, I really think people should integrate into these fire pits. Um, makes a huge difference on the smoke. I mean, we've had 13 people around this thing, and once it gets hot, after about 10 minutes, uh, there's there's very little smoke. And it doesn't follow you around like our portable pit used to that we had. So these are some ideas for you. And I have, like I said, more material on this and kind of a little bit how I built it. Because I did build this from scratch. This is not a kit. Thank you for watching.